Welcome to this introduction to Buddhism. In the first five minutes, I'm going to talk about the A-level course. This is the A-level beginning 2016. It's the new specification. And this video will introduce broadly the whole A-level, and in particular, Paper 4A, Buddhism. Uh, the Paper 4A, Buddhism, has three topics in Year 12 and three topics in Year 13. You can find these if you look up the specification. Really recommend looking up the specification and the sample assessment materials that go with it. We'll be covering this year sources of wisdom and authority. That's the Buddha and his teachings and so on. Religious beliefs, values and teachings, uh, in particular the Triptia, and Buddhist practices, meditation and within uh, perhaps uh, different traditions of, of Buddhism. Um, then in year 13, moving on to social and historical developments, the work of two key scholars, and looking at religion in Buddhism in society today. So this term we're going to cover, what is Buddhism today? A little bit later in the second video. Uh, in this video we're looking at the course structure assessment and basic overview of Buddhism. Uh, next lesson we're looking at India in the time of the Buddha, the life and work of the Buddha, Lesson 4, the Enlightenment. Lesson 5, hit the finding of the Sangha preaching his death and Parnibia. Uh, and finally then the, we're introducing the, the second unit which is looking at the three marks, the teaching of the Buddha. The whole course structure in, involves uh, at A2, two R exams. Buddhism will in, end after two years study with a two R exam as will ethics, a separate two-hour exam, and philosophy of religion, a separate two-hour exam. There's a lot of content. Perhaps there's 140 to 150 lessons in the year, uh, 50 lessons or slightly less for each topic. That's nine or ten lessons per half term, and three lessons per fortnight. And with all we've got to cover, there's a lot to fit in. At Excel, specify scholars, two for each topic, representing diversity, uh, either a diversity of insider or outsider perspectives, a diversity within viewpoint. In addition, there are set readings from an anthology for different thinkers on Buddhism, again representing a diversity of viewpoints, insider and outsider or with, and within Buddhism. Uh, you've got to know your stuff, you've got to know your scholars, you've got to know your scholars of Buddhism to be successful at Edexcel. Uh, in this new specification. A successful student then needs to know their stuff. A lot of knowledge and understanding is needed. Um, these videos are about doing preparation for class in, inside the class and outside of the class. Looking at the booklets and practicing your vocab, doing the unit checkers and doing the summative especially essay work. This term is going to be some key assessments on the four sites halfway through the term and then at the end of the half term towards the October half term looking at the Buddha nature or Nibbana as a analyzed question, a 20 mark question, perhaps as an extension using a set passage uh, for those A grade students. There'll be set homeworks in addition, learning vocab and other things. Buddhism really means that you have to learn your, your key words. There's a lot of complex language but you don't have to learn every single word about Buddhism. How could we? Either uh, the Pali words or the Sanskrit words. There's lots. So we're just going to focus on some basic vocab. And, but there might be some extended vocab that's indicative of the A grade student. So look out for uh, the differences there. The basic vocab and the extended vocab. You'll have to get to grips with key concepts and meanings of terms. Here are some of the words that you may need to know. Some of the more essential words it could be dharma, akusila, samsara, and so on. Kama, kusila, and so on. Try and get to know some of these words. What is Buddhism? What is religion? Well, that'll have to wait for the next video.